Well, I mean, it's fun, you know. I mean, it's uh, we were excited about. It. I, I talked to I've talked to Mark a lot over his years of coaching women, what it's like, how much he's enjoyed it, and he gave me some counsel when I was looking into this job here at Minnesota State. And uh, you know, like yesterday, I mean, they arrive and Mark's with his team, or they arrive on Thursday, and you know, I mean, I could have tried to look him up or anything like that, but I understand he's busy preparing in his way, and I'm busy preparing in mine. Uh, yesterday before the game, went over talked to him. It's always great to see him. I think. You know, we're, we're both competitive people. I think we go about it in different ways. His demeanor is a little different than, than mine, but I don't doubt that, his, that he's not competitive. And, and, and he certainly, his success at, at Wisconsin has shown that he's a competitive person. So, but um, once the game gets going, you know, I, I don't think, uh, you know, that, uh, that, you know, I'm thinking about Mark or, you know, I'm, I'm watching what his players, what players are coming out on the ice and how he's, kind of using his personnel, but I, I mean, I'm not thinking about Mark that, hey, geez, that's Mark over on the bench at that right time. I got enough things to think about on my bench without worrying about what's going on on the Wisconsin bench. Friendly, I mean, uh, I think we're both at the age where, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's what we're doing with each of our programs and, and John's in a good spot, uh, you know, to start uh, and really breathe a new fresh, breath of fresh air into the Mankato girls program uh, and I think you know he's going to do a great job and so what I can do to help him I'll try to help him out as much as I can obviously when we compete against each other uh, you know we're each trying to win and, and do what's best for our organization and so uh, at the end of the day you know one team's going to win one team's going to lose and, and then life moves on and I think uh, I think our friendship is strong enough to withstand any type of scenario within a game that uh, that we can come overcome it. obviously with a lot of our players on the 80 team uh, you might be a little bit closer have spent more time and engage with somebody more so than other players and certainly over the last you know 10 or 15 years uh, I've probably connected with John more so than, than a lot of other players and so uh, you know one thing about friendships is we can compete against each other but at the end of the day we're still going to be friends you're obviously coach's daughter. Yep. What's it like playing for your dad? Uh, it's, it's a pretty special thing, I'd say. I mean, not many people get the chance to do it. So, uh, I mean, over the three years that I've been here, I've gotten a lot closer with him, and I've seen different sides of him. Um, uh, I'd probably just say it's pretty special. It's a pretty cool thing. And then did you, um, I, we see you're wearing number 10 this year, yes. did you take that number just to kind of honor your family's legacy here yeah. at Wisconsin? And that yeah, that's number? a good way to put it, I'd say. Um, I don't know if you knew, my older brother played here for four years and he got to wear 10 all four. Um, and so the chance that I got to snag it, um, just kind of, yeah, like you said, kind of wanted to honor the family. It's a pretty cool tradition, so I didn't want to not take up the chance. And I'd say it's uh, been pretty fun wearing it, actually. I actually feel a little bit... I don't know how to how to word it, I'd say, actually. I feel like kind of carrying the family with me a little bit when I wear it, so it's pretty special. That's really cool. Well, I've, been, I've actually had the opportunity to uh, coach with both of these uh, Guys, uh, I've been an assistant for Mark in the uh, World Championships for the U18s, and then obviously I've worked with John now and, and before at St. John's, so it's kind of exciting to see them both go against each other. So um, since you've coached under both of the coaches, what's the differences between the two? What's the different styles and demeanors and that kind of thing? Well, I think uh, they're both very, very competitive. I think they show it in different ways. I think John's a little more visual and shows his frustration and shows his excitement. Mark's uh, pretty calm and cool, and, but internally he's, uh, he's just as competitive and fiery as, as John is. Do you have any strategies for today's game? Yeah, we're going to try to score a goal. You know, I mean, we uh, we have a very young team. We have 18 sophomores and freshmen in our lineup, and uh, you know, we're we're trying to find our way. And you know, we we, we uh, I think uh, you know each week we're getting better and a little more confidence. But this league is so tough. I mean, the, the WCHA is is a is a meat grinder every weekend. And you know, here we're playing the third ranked team in the country. And if there's better team than the team we played yesterday, I, I don't know who it is. I mean. Could be Minnesota, and I mean they're you know they're our league two, and they're on they're coming up. But um, uh, yeah, he uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try to get on the scoreboard. His team is uh, 
has had seven straight shutouts now uh, going into our game today. So uh, our goal, I told our girls we didn't want to stop at one, but one of our goals is to score a goal today. So one might not be enough, but we're going to be the first team to score against the University of Wisconsin. So that's one of our, one of our smaller goals in the whole scheme of things going into today's game. <laughs> ever have any inspirational like messages for you that tie back to that at all? Yeah, he like kind of pulls it from that. It's not like anything directly, but yep. yeah, he's just like really inspirational. He comes in just motivating us, pushing us to be the best every day. So um, I know Corbin said that he doesn't make you guys do Herbies, but <laughs> I, I bet he makes you work pretty hard. Yeah, yes, every week we're working hard, trying to get better. Awesome, awesome. And then um, my last question is, is um, I know he doesn't talk about it a lot, but does he ever bring in his gold medal for you guys to see? No, he has not brought it in yet. <laughs> We've asked, but not yet. <laughs> he, you've asked him he doesn't bring it? He doesn't like to talk about it. Like, he doesn't bring that up. Or he tries to push that off. <laughs> okay, all right.